In this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations with distributive property. In this example, we notice that there are parentheses inside the equation. And therefore, any time that we see a number before the parentheses, it means to distribute. So we're going to take this 4 and distribute it to each term on the inside of the parentheses. So here we go with our first step, 4 times n will give us 4n, 4 times a negative 3. We always want to take the sign before the term, so 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12. Bring down our equal sign and the 28. Now we have a two-step equation, and we notice with our variable we have a 4 that is attached to the variable as well as a negative 12. So the only way to get rid of the negative 12 and move it over to the right-hand side of the equation is to add its inverse or use inverse operations. So the opposite or the inverse operation of a negative 12 is a positive 12. And so we're going to add positive 12 to both sides of the equation. So when we go ahead and negative 12 plus 12 gives us a zero. We're going to go ahead and bring the 4 in down. Bring our equal sign. And then 28 plus 12 gives us 40. One little hint when you are solving an equation, try to keep your equal signs in line with each other. It helps you be better organized and less confused. Now this n is still not isolated and it's not by itself. The 4 is attached to the n. How is it attached? Well, if you said multiplication, you are right. So the inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. Now 4 divided by 4 gives us 1, so we have 1 in left. We'll bring down our equal sign, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. Therefore, the answer to this, or the solution, is n equals 10. Now let's go ahead and check our work. It's always good to check your work when you are solving so you know that you have the correct answer. So we're going to rewrite the problem, and wherever we see a variable, we're going to leave a little parenthesis so we can insert the number 10. So we have four open parentheses. We replace the variable with parentheses, minus 3 equals 28. Let's plug in the 10, and we look at 10 minus 3 is 7. So now we have 4 times 7 equals 28. Therefore, 4 times 7 is 28. And we are correct. When we have 28 equal to 28, or a number equal to a number, we know that the equation checks the number or the solution is n equals 10.